it. Welcome to Morning Glow. Welcome to another time in the presence of the Lord. Let us rejoice before our God. Let us magnify the God who kept us, who gave us the privilege of seeing another day, another week. Let us magnify our Savior, the God who cannot lie, who cannot die, who never changes. The God whose train fills the temple, the one who deserves our worship. This morning we make great his name for from the rising of the sun to the going down of it. His name shall always be great. We shall always praise him no matter what. He is our God. He will continue to be our God forever and ever. Forever and ever he will be our God. And so we magnify him this morning. Psalm 150, we used to magnify him this morning. Praise the Lord. Praise God in his sanctuary. Praise him in his mighty heaven. Praise him for his mighty works. Praise his unequaled greatness. Praise him with the blast of the ram's horn. Praise him with the lyre and the harper. Up. Praise him with the tambourine and dancing. Praise him with strings and flutes. Praise him with the clash of cymbals. Praise him with loud clanging cymbals. Let everything, everything that breathes sing praises to the Lord. Praise the Lord. We magnify him again this morning. We bless him. We have breath. We are counted among the living. For this we magnify the Lord. We will never cease to praise him for he is God and he will forever reign. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, we give you glory today. Bless your people. Touch lives. Let there be an outpouring of grace on this platform. Let somebody truly experience your blessing, your favor. Thank you, Jesus. We give you the glory. We give all the praise to you. In Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. I'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord that you will be blessed, you'll be favored. The hand of the Lord will touch you. You will have reasons to magnify God. Praise God. Wherever you've joined from this morning, let us know so we can appreciate and thank God for you. Slam and I in Scotland. Abidjan, God bless you. Clapton, East London, God bless you richly this morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, St. Elizabeth, Jamaica, Edmonton in North London, Dacula, Georgia. God bless you richly. God bless you richly. May you be highly favored this morning. Charlotte, North Carolina. Blessings on you. Agbo, Delta, Nigeria. God bless you. KRCC, Maryland, Lagos, Nigeria. The Lord bless you. Praise the Lord. Uh, Stanwell in Staines. God bless. Hackney, East London, Charleroi in Belgium. God bless you richly this morning. Yako uh, Shokayaro, CKKK. Hackney, East London. God bless you richly. Uh, Queens in New York, may you be highly favored. Spintex Road, Accra, God bless you. Walton Cross, God bless. Bedfordshire, blessings. Durban, South Africa, the Lord bless you richly this morning. Saubona, Stratford, East London, blessings. Satellite Town in Nigeria, God bless you. Victoria Gastes in Spain, Dio Steven Diga, Maryland, USA, be blessed, be highly favored this morning. Durban, South Africa again, Port Elizabeth, South Africa, Salvona, uh, praise the Lord, Accra, Ghana, Horn Church in Essex, UK, uh, Hoxton, God bless you this morning. Hoxton in Greater Hackney. Uh, God bless you richly. Sutton in Surrey, Hertfordshire, St. Albans in Hertfordshire. God bless you. Chatham in Kent. May you be highly favored this morning. Portsmouth. Blessings. Tetford in Norfolk. 
Blessings on you in Jesus' name, Lorient in France. God bless Swiss Cottage in in London. Uh, Hugh something Gardens. Uh, okay, praise the Lord. Cordoba in Spain. The Lord bless you this morning. Smedic. Hewilton Garden and Smedic. God bless you this morning. Praise the Lord. Elmstead Market in Colchester. God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Levisham in Manchester. Warwickshire. God bless you this morning. Baldock in Hertfordshire. God bless you richly. Uh, South Bank in London. God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Beaver Creek, Ohio, in the United States. God bless you this morning. We celebrate each one of you. We speak blessing. Plumstead, Southeast London. Morris Woodlord, Woodford, Morris Woodford. Okay, Morris is your name in Woodford. Woodford is in Essex. God bless you richly this morning. Jesus' name, Leighton, East London blessings. Northampton blessings. Cross River, Nigeria. May you be highly favored this morning. May you be blessed. Lekki, Lagos, Nigeria blessings and favor on you this day. Breakthrough beyond measure. East Calder in Scotland, God bless you richly, Jesus' name. Makoda, Shteyadabaka, Tede Indoro, Santale Baka, Kuzden, sorry, God bless you, Kurudu, Nigeria, the Lord bless you richly. Jeshate, do Nigeria, God bless you, Warwickshire, blessings on you. In the name of Jesus, we speak blessings, blessings beyond measure and favor this morning. May you be highly favored. May you be lifted by Yelsa, Nigeria. God bless you. New York. God bless. Is it Bronx, New York? I saw. God bless you richly. Camberwell, be blessed and highly favored today. May the Lord lift you up. Bellingham and Catford, be blessed. Be highly favored this day. In the name of Jesus, Westcliff in Essex. Blessings, 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 blessings. KICZ, Iju, Lagos, Nigeria, Saint Etienne in France. Dieu vous bénisse. Praise the Lord. Uh, Pitsy in Essex. God bless you richly. Idimu, Nigeria. God bless you richly this morning. Bracknell in Berkshire. God bless you. Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Kayate Kokosa. Teleri Kayatada. Ipswich in Suffolk. God bless you richly. Hammersmith in West London. Dio Vubenese. The Lord bless you. God bless you richly. He has, uh, Malaysia. Blessings on you this morning. In the name of Jesus, may you be highly favored. May you be victorious. We'd like to welcome everyone who's joining us this morning. We trust the Lord to continue to bless you, continue to touch your life, and continue to minister to you in a very special way. Rather, in the United Kingdom, blessings and favor on you today in the mighty name of Jesus. If we did not mention where you're from, we still celebrate you, popular East London. We want you to know you are special, you are awesome, you are blessed, you are highly favored, you are victorious. The grace of God is on your life. The blessings of God are on you in the name of Jesus. We declare and decree this day that you are victorious, you are blessed, you are above only, you are never under. In the name of Jesus, I speak into your life today that no weapon formed against you uh, will prosper. Every mouth that, come, that rises against you in judgment shall be condemned. This is your heritage as a child of God. Uh, we began to pray and taking authority over fear. Fear is an enemy. Fear is a thief. Fear destroys. 
And we believe that God is breaking the backbone of fear in your life. And I believe that from this day, you are victorious. You are above only. You are totally set free. No weapon formed against you prospers. Every mouth that rises against you in judgment is condemned. The enemy uses fear to steal from us. But the time has come for you to possess your possession. Every lie of hell shall not stand. Every weapon used against you in the area of, of fear, it shall not stand. I repeat again, it shall not stand. So how do you overcome fear? How do you rise above it? Let your tongue begin to create victory around you. You must learn how to speak faith instead of fear. To speak faith. Sometimes our body wants to say what it sees, but we must say what the word says. While we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are not seen. For the things that are seen are temporal. The things that are not seen are eternal. Let it become your tree of life, the word of God in your mouth. Let it become the bridge of your spirit. You must learn to speak the word of faith at all times. Let it become the protection of your spirit, the word of faith. The protection of your spirit. When the enemy comes like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Let the word of faith become the shield against negative attitudes that Satan wants you to begin to operate in. Do not fear. Learn faith. Do not fear. Learn faith. Do not fear. Learn faith. Walk in faith. Operate by faith. Talk faith. Keep your eyes on God. It sometimes is overwhelming and daunting when you look at the evidences around you. But you need to know that fear is also F-E-A-R, false evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. Take authority. Break its grip. Let it become the shield against negative attitudes that Satan wants you to begin to operate in. Never lose your confidence in the fact that God is your strength. 2 Samuel 22, verse 33, 34. God is my strength and power. He maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and setteth me upon my high places. Hallelujah. 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 God is my strength and power. He maketh my way perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet and seted my and seted and seted me upon high places so know this that god is your strength god is your power you will overcome no weapon formed against you will prosper every matter rises in judgment against you will be condemned fear is a thief fear is satan's best missile for robbing believers but you must shut the door Put out the devil. Renounce every satanic deal that has been handed to you. They don't belong to you. Search, shut the door. Renounce Satan. Renounce his work. Refuse to be first in. You are a free man. You are a free woman. If God is God, then he will prove himself to you. He will show up powerfully for you. He will open doors for you. He will make his name great in your life. Refuse to be fenced in. You are a free man. You are a free woman. Fear is not your portion. It's not, it's not your friend. If it has come in, we are shutting the door. God will make a way. The God who answers prayer. The God who answers prayer. The God who answers prayer in strange ways. <laughs> he sent a rain of food. Manna was raining like food for the people of God. 
the God who answers that way, he is your God. He will not put you to shame. Then develop an uncommon Holy Ghost packed confidence. In live class, we've been teaching on the force of confidence. Develop this confidence not in yourself, not in your power, but your confidence in God. You are a confident person, but the root of your confidence is not in your brain, your ability, but in the ability of God through you. Paul said, I can do all things through Christ. Isaiah 30, verse 15 says, verse, Isaiah 30, 15, But thus saith the Lord God, the Holy One of Israel, In returning and rest shall you be saved. In quietness and in confidence shall be your strength. And you will not. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. In quietness and confidence shall be your strength. Take your strength from God. Somebody on the altar today, it looks so bad. It looks like you're not going to make it or that the enemy will win. God have never lost a battle. Never, never, never. Tada, dono, shingariaria, zili baragodo, ziki alida. Even if it's the last minute, God will come through for you. Even if it's the last second, God will come through for you. Even if it's the last millisecond. When they are about to shut the door, God will open the door, a better door, a greater door. Even if it is by <laughs> a photo shoot closeness, God will, God will come through for you. Have you ever seen those Olympic games where sometimes, or in some of those sports, particularly athletics, when they are running and they are good and they have to separate by a special camera who really won. That kind of microsecond, God will come through for you. Exodus 14, 13 and 14. Exodus 14, verses 13 and 14. And Moses said unto the people, Fear ye not, stand still, see the salvation of the Lord, which he will show you show to you today for the egyptians whom you have seen today you shall see them again no more the lord shall fight for you and you shall hold your peace hallelujah in psalm 56 verse 11 in god have i put my trust i will not be afraid what man can do to me. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Yale in Rikusumbia, Lady Tala, Kokosari, So, 365 times the word of God says, Fear not. Because fear is a deadly weapon, it is a terrible weapon. It is Satan's best equipment for fighting people. He doesn't need to visit them, he just needs to send a missile of fear into their heart and the concoction of the, the fear that came in and their own mind mixing together causes an explosion in their life. Satan uses our own mind, our own imagination. We imaginate. Fear makes us to imagine, imaginate, imagine. We create images that will never come to pass in Jesus' name. Lying images, satanic images, demonic images, devilish images of how you were defeated or how you were not, you were victorious. But this morning we nullify by the precious blood of Jesus. May the blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel speak for you, speak for you, speak for you, speak for you. In Proverbs 14 verse 26, it says, In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. In the fear of the Lord is strong confidence, and his children shall have a place of refuge. The season when fear strikes back, let the confidence of God fill you up. Let the confidence of God in you strike back. Lift your voice and pray in the language of the Holy Ghost. Sometimes you don't even know what to pray. Just pray in tongues. Just pray in tongues. Develop that quiet, confident spirit that still declares the word of God in the face of anxiety, strife, and trouble. Pray in tongues. 
Nekale Jadas, Jilere Bokuzara, Rano Teke Kabaratisi, Jalere Kukabaro Keziki in the Rida Baradi, Redoka Karendo Rosia, Yarado Kabaro Talere, Marado Kamre di Shadia, Reko Talabakara. This morning we release grace upon grace, favor upon favor on everyone on the platform. We plead the blood of Jesus. We cover you with the blood. We come against the spirit of fear this morning, so we cover you with the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood that speaks better things. The blood that speaks better things than the blood of Abel. It shall speak for you. It shall speak for you. It shall speak your victory. It shall speak your favor. It shall speak your testimony. It shall speak your deliverance. It shall speak. It shall speak and nothing shall make it silent. We declare this morning that the blood speaks for us. The blood of Jesus. We, we, we release the blood of Jesus against every weapon, against every lie. In the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. I start this morning with Ecclesiastes 11.10. So then banish anxiety from your heart and cast off the troubles of your body. So then banish anxiety from your heart and cast off the troubles of your body. In other words, banish fear from your heart and cast off the troubles of your body. Father, in the name of Jesus, I speak into the life of your people today. Somebody who woke up with some anxiety over matters. It's impossible for God to lie and it's impossible for God to fail. So we cast off every anxiety for your word says be anxious for nothing. Anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4 verses 4 to 7. Be anxious for nothing but through prayer and supplication make your needs known to the Father and the peace of God that passes understanding shall keep your mind. We refuse to be anxious. We rebuke anxiety. We break the grip of anxiety. We bring the blood of Jesus. Rekarosha! Against every form of anxiety, we deliver ourselves, we set our free, set ourselves free from anxiety this morning. Daba Dodi Brandoro Tali Redi Raba Rodosh Kerada Yanandi Yandori Rambron Dandere Kambra Zitali Shata Tali Broko Soka Yika Kakara Rama Babali Ronte Limbring and Don Dambren Dan Den 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 Derabale Morono Rabara Didi Radaba. We speak. The blood, we pray the blood, we plead the blood, the blood of Jesus, the blood that spoke in heaven and cast out devils. It speaks for us this morning. We bring the blood of Jesus against every kind of anxiety. You shall be anxious for nothing. The peace of God will keep your mind. Your, the peace of God will strengthen you. Every lie that Satan has raised shall fall flat before you. As the Lord lives, 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 as the Lord lives. Matesha, Nekosa, Hika Kakosha, Hiko Tali Rebasa, Riko Tala Rata Tata 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 Ranosheya in Jesus' name. Isaiah 8, verse 12. Isaiah 8, verse 12. I love this verse. I love how it says it. Do not call conspiracy everything these people call it conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear and do not dread it. Do not fear what other people fear and do not dread it. Do not fear what they fear and do not dread it. I love this. Isaiah 8, 12. Do not call conspiracy everything these people call it conspiracy. Do not fear what they fear and do not dread it. Nayaba, Koshala, Mambrere, Tele. The Bible says in the last days the heart of men will fail them. People are afraid of things, but we are children of God. I lay hand on you today. Where others express fear, you will express boldness. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Be bold, be strong, for the Lord your God is with you. Tala, do not fear what they fear. Do not dread what they dread. Every arrow of fear that the enemy have brought against others, it shall not work in your life. Ayakasa, reketosa, 
Nalere bosh. Malere da. Ntentolo. I rebuke fear. I break its grip. I break its power. I declare and decree your total victory from this morning. Your total victory from this morning. Your total victory from this morning. Ida kata lira dada. Ida de dosha. Ikero dosa ta ye ta ta ta. Ida da bosha ta. Ida bosa de kata liria. Iri talara talikusu talira basa di de 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 barosha. Ikaya in Jesus name Isaiah 10 24. Therefore this is what the Lord the Almighty says. My people who live in Zion. Do not be afraid of the Assyrians who beat you with a rod and lift up a club against you as Egypt did. Do not be afraid of the Assyrians, my people who live in Zion. We are the people who live in Zion. The Zion of the New Testament is the church of Jesus Christ. This day I prophesy upon your life. You are living in Zion. You shall not be afraid of the Assyrians. Every Assyrian that raised their hand, that speak against your peace, speak against your life, We've silenced their voice. Parosh kahili da bante, kale kusuma yitala raba. We declare and decree every lie they speak shall not stand. Every arrow Satan is using to try to attack your mind, attack your destiny, attack your future. We declare and decree it shall not work. 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 Kale brono ziki kada da rebrosha. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We take authority over the spirit of fear. Its grip over you is broken. Its power over you is broken. Its grip over you is broken. Its power over you is broken. Tata, Iria, Ibaro, Hishka, Embra, Hendeli, Ibarado, Ikalere, Dedabara, Ibarado, Rosigiarada, Iria Laraba, Tolora, Sakataya, Hika, Paco, Taka, Riki, Tosaka, Riki, Taka, Parata, Tata. God is not a man that he should lie, nor the son of man that he should repent. As he spoken, will he not do it? God gave you a word. Somebody watching me right now, God gave you a word that he has given you a victory in a particular area, and yet your mind is often drifting into fear. We rebuke that fear. We command your peace. We rebuke that fear. We command your peace. We rebuke that fear. We command your peace. We rebuke your that fear. We command your peace. In Jesus' name. Amen. From today you walk in victory. From today you walk in testimony. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 12 verse 2. Isaiah 12 verse 2. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Sounds like the Psalms. Surely God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. The Lord, the Lord himself is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. Lekabadesha. Reketulabangasa. Yenon telebranketa. Riketo lo shiki yam prokosa. Riketa libra no zonka yetisha. Yano talibra no kozi teliriman kalintan talerirevo. God will save you. God will deliver you out of every matter, everything that makes you afraid. This day I prophesy. God will be your salvation. He's bringing you out of issues, out of errors, out of challenges, out of battles. He will settle the matter, settle the matter, settle the matter. The Lord will settle the matter, settle the matter, settle the matter. Na lady, na rada, rekeko, mabare, shkayende, brokoza, retish, ramashke, broteska, redande, rekorozi, yeroboka, reboko shayada, itala rada rada rada, ikorodosha, ika bengo zondi kanta riku tali, erosa. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. This day I declare, I decree the things that have made you fearful and afraid. You have victory over them. Every lie of hell, you have victory over it. In the name of Jesus. One of my favorite scripture in the book of Isaiah is Isaiah 26 verse 3. 
you will keep in perfect peace those who my, whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. You will keep in perfect peace those whose minds are steadfast because they trust in you. God will keep you in perfect peace. God will strengthen you, keep you in perfect peace. All through this week, the mind of God, the hand of God, the grace of God, the power of God, the word of God, the spirit of God will keep you, keep you, keep you, keep you, keep you in perfect peace because you are rested on him, because you are rested on him, because you are rested on him. He will keep in perfect peace whose mind is steadfast because they trust in him the king james says those whose mind is rested on him you will not be disappointed for your trust in god you will not be put to shame for your trust in god you will not be put to shame for your trust in god Hita, prosa, rita, breka, rita, rico, hita, brasa, capro, shanta, hiko, capra, hika. You will keep in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you because they trust in you. So no fear. I speak into your life today. God keeps you. God keeps you. God strengthens you. God keeps you. God strengthens you. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 35 verse 4. Isaiah 35 verse 4, say to those with fearful hearts, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come. He will come with vengeance. With divine retribution, he will come to save you. Say to those with a fearful heart, those of you who are afraid of something, be strong, do not fear. Your God will come through for you. He will come with vengeance. With divine retribution. Hey! He will come to save you. Every hand that has raised itself to fight you unjustly in an ungodly way. Every demonic power that have gathered together, every voice that have gathered together to fight your home and fight your life and fight your destiny in the name of Jesus. Andre koson kate koso kata ki kota rika rika ba rozonda yi. Victory. Absolute total victory follows you. Favor follows you. Testimony follows you. In the name of Jesus. In the powerful name of Jesus. Your days of victory are here. Your time of testimony is here. The hand of the Lord will work for you. Those who are fearful of heart, God strengthens you. God strengthens you. I release strength into your life. I rebuke fear. I break its grip. I break its power. Fear of the dark. Fear of tomorrow. Fear of success. Fear of failure. They are no longer your portion. You will go out. You will be led forth. God will bless you. God will raise you. God will lift you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 37 verse 6. Isaiah 37 verse 6. Isaiah said to them, tell your master. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid of what you have heard. Those words with which the underlings of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Everyone who is trying to use your ear to, to scare you, their word will not stand. Their word will fall and die. Some people will try to say things that will scare you. In the days of Isaiah, the king of Assyria sent the, the, the rap shake to stand around the wall because there was a siege. And the rap shake will be speaking to the people inside the nation. Don't listen to your king. Come out. And serve the king of Assyria. And the people refused. In fact, then the Rabshakeh went and studied and learned the language of the Hebrews. And was speaking Hebrews to them. And speaking Hebrew to them. I'm telling you, don't listen to your king. Come and serve the Rabshakeh. 
come and serve the king of Assyria. And somebody went to him, please, don't speak in Hebrew. Don't cause fear in our heart. Ah, okay, so our word is getting through. Don't listen to your king. This morning, anyone who's using verbal vituperations, verbal attacks, words that are lies from the pit of hell to try to diminish, reduce, and block your destiny, the hand of the Lord is against them. The Lord rebukes 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 them. Their word will fall and die. Only the counsel of the Lord will stand in your life. Say amen with some power in it. Every word that they have spoken against your destiny shall not stand. Only the counsel of the Lord. 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 Only the counsel of the Lord shall stand in your life. Ekebroza, Matikalisha, Hebrew, Santeleka, Ribokosata, Rikera. Every missile of the mouth that have been released against your destiny. It fails. It fails. It fails. It fails. It fails. It fails. In the name of Jesus. I read it again. Tell your master. This is what the Lord says. And listen. <laughs> Only the word of the Lord stands above, above every other word. Only the counsel of the Lord stands above every other counsel. Once has he spoken, twice have I heard. Power belongs to Jehovah. Tell your master. This is what the Lord says. Do not be afraid of what you have heard. Those words with which the underlings of the king of Assyria have blasphemed me. Hayatikia, no taliba. For anyone who speaks against the counsel of God in your life has blasphemed Jehovah. God, God will show them. And he will give you victory. I declare again, he will give you victory. In Jesus' name. As you go into this week, Isaiah 41 verse 10. As you go into the rest of this week, Isaiah 41 verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. Oh, by the way, there was a season I walked through one of the deepest valleys in my life. And God just told me to sit inside Isaiah 60 to 66. Ah. In fact, theologians used to believe that two Isaiahs wrote the book of Isaiah. Because chapter 1 to 39 sounds like one man. 40 to 66 sounds like another man. Isaiah 40 to 66 is so encouraging. So encouraging, so encouraging, so encouraging. If you can find a Bible online that reads to you, get it. And just stay in Isaiah 40 to 66 if you are walking the deepest valley. Oh, Jesus. The words are so powerful. Chapter 41, verse 10. So do not fear, for I am with you. Do not be dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Glory to God. Which God speaks like this but our Jehovah, our Father, our God. Don't be afraid. I am with you. Don't be dismayed. I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I speak into your life this morning. In place of fear, I release faith. In place of fear, I release courage. In place of fear, I release confidence in God. In place of fear, I release courage. I release confidence in God. You shall not be afraid. Fear will not take you down. Fear will not destroy you. Fear will not eat you up. In the name of Jesus, you overcome. Nakai neneto. Rengish kalerenato. You know, sometimes when I'm leading, I'll just say, my heart, Lord, give me some revelation for these people. And the moment I just close, close my eyes, I just see. Maybe some of these days I should just stop leading prayer and just prophesy for days. If that's what he wants to do.
The moment I closed my eyes to say, Lord, I said, Lord, show me something. As I closed my eyes, I just saw people carrying baskets to come to your house, full of goodies. It's like the 12 baskets that were left over after that boy gave his lunch. I see them coming into your house, carrying baskets full on their head like the Africans would do. Like the Africans would do, baskets full, baskets full, baskets full. They're carrying it, them heavy, heavy. The bar, in fact, I can see the way the basket looks. It looks slightly like the shape of an egg. <laughs> uh, what do they call it? Is that oblong? Whatever. Yeah, it's, that's the way this basket was made, and it's full. Full, full, and then I can't even see the end of the people carrying the basket. So someone on the altar this morning, receive your baskets full. Receive your favors full. 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 In the name of Jesus. And right now, I lift my voice. I pray for somebody who's about to travel. God delivers you from disaster. Because of you alone, because of you alone, the disaster that would have happened in that plane will not happen. You get there safely. You get to your destination safely. Everything will be fine. Testimony will follow. Glory will follow in the name of Jesus. No panic, no trouble of your heart. But peace that passes understanding. Peace that passes understanding. Peace that passes understanding. Peace. Erika Dabado, in the Lady Basha, in the Kiliraba, Karedorosha, Hika, seen a very strange revelation. I cabara to Koshki and the Libra, no Skiata Libra, no to Libra, Nikita, La Rike Baradosia, Hikaba Koso, Tata, Taliki, okay. Whether this is what they will understand it, I see as if somebody has a beautiful, beautiful uh, cloth. Ah, I don't even know the English word for it. Uh, in the days, many days, in the days when I was a little boy, when you are welded, that's the kind of material they use to sew clothes for you. It feels like, oh, I can't remember. But then I now saw a revelation as if you have this beautiful dress, but you are allowing them to use an old cloth to use to patch a part of the cloth. <laughs> Strange. But then I see a fire. Removing the old cloth that is about to patch. And I was saying, Lord, what is this? And in my spirit, I was saying, Lord, what is this? And God said, I'm beautifying your life. But you still want to hang out with, you're allowing some old generation, old people, old concept, old philosophy. Some people in your past, you want to continue to carry them into your new season. Let them go. Let them go. Let <laughs> And God said, if you even don't let them go, he will use his fire to cut them off because they don't belong in your next season. <sighs> Whoever that is for, receive it in Jesus' name. Father, anyone who no longer belongs in our next season, take them out of our new cloth. You cannot use old cloth to patch a new one. Jesus also said it. Ah, what's the name of this cloth in English? I can't even see let them go 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 but as for me i received those baskets full man i received those baskets full man i received those baskets full man I receive those baskets full, man, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Jali koboku kakai ikin tolobro teke salaba. See, Revelation is very interesting again. Part of a just man shining. I saw a man was riding a bicycle. They took it. I see, I see behind hand took it from him, gave him a, a power bike. And as he's riding the power bike, he was taking from him, and the car was going. So it's like promotion. Get ready. God is going to take you from levels to levels to levels to levels in this season of your life. This is the year you will look back and you say, God kept giving me progress. Yeah, okay, KRCC. This is the year of progress. So that was the revelation. I saw this guy was 
you know, riding his bicycle, thinking this is okay. Suddenly some hand took that off him and gives him a, a powered motorcycle. And as he's riding the motorcycle, the thing removed it. <laughs> Reko Zambreko. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. I don't know what this one means. I don't even. Okay, Spirit of God, make me know. I see a person I see. They put a ring on your finger, and the stone is like an uncut, I don't know what kind of stone. I saw density. I don't, I'm not into jewels. Maybe you know me. Uh, but this stone is so, it could be a diamond, I don't know, I don't, okay, I think diamonds, they glitter, don't they? This one is dark, it's dark, it's so dark, the density is so heavy that it's hard for light to penetrate, it's so dark, and it's a huge ring put on your finger, and uh, I hear the word authority and blessing. So somebody get ready for promotion. I declare and decree into your life in this season. The promotion that you were due. That you waited for for years. Every hand, every demonic hand that have tried to stop it. The hand of the Lord will be against them. The hand of the Lord will be against them. The hand of... The hand... The hand of the Lord will be against it. I was just, a pastor flashed through my mind and I just saw his financial need. And suddenly, under his feet, I saw as if, this is very strange. Dear God, this is strange. As if the earth became like, you know those kind of, there's a, there's a way you, you, they press the button and the earth slid. And when the earth slid, there was a massive hole full of crystal clear blue water suggesting hidden riches. So get ready. Somebody on the platform, I think some minister, you worry too much about where the provision is going to come from. The hidden riches, the hidden riches, the hidden riches, the hidden riches are awaiting your vision. The hidden riches, the hidden riches are awaiting your vision. The name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God this morning. Yabali shika barata kazala. Rama parante di kabroto do sokayita lari reno kota kapaka tedi riko sokayita liri baka rama taliro koso tala riko do boshe kayandiri riko to laba kaza liri keta raba kata rinosha riko tu kuzi kete liboroto liba maringero tarangero shkaya ita tata raba hereri kabarezo hirabaroto shika hikabaroto zoka rike kuka broko zetia thank you jesus oh glory to god this morning glory to god this morning in the name of jesus thank you lord jesus aya teko kabro dange shage barosa riti kaba it's a beautiful revelation it's a powerful one and after I share it, I'll take authority over it. That's why I see, if, I don't know who it is, um, this, this, this gathering of witches. They had like this huge thing. They look into to see things and cast spells. And somebody on this altar, maybe your prayer or your worship, made their pots full of this dark water into which they look to be broken. And they just sat in sadness that our spell is broken. There's nothing we can do. We have no instrument to do it to. Yes! No weapon formed against you prosperous. Every mouth that rises against you in judgment is condemned. This is your heritage as a child of God. Anyone who has shot an arrow against you, Psalm 7 verse 15, they will fall into the pit, they dug, and they will carry the load they prepared, and their own arrows will go back to their house in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord this morning. Tandish Kiala, Tronibiakaza, Isaiah 41 verse 14. Isaiah 41 verse 14, do not be afraid. You warm Jacob. You know what? I'm going to read Isaiah 41 
I'm going to read verse 10, verse 13, verse 14. It's just fear not, fear not. I will bless you. I will do this. Fear not, fear not. Isaiah 41 verse 10, so do not fear. I am with you. Do not be afraid. I am your God. I will strengthen you and help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Isaiah 41 13, for I am the Lord your God who takes hold of your right hand and says to you, do not fear. I will help you. Verse 14, do not be afraid. You warm Jacob, little Israel. Do not fear, for I myself, not an angel, will help you, declares the Lord, your Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. This morning, the Lord encourages you and lets you know he will take your matter personally. God will fight for you. He will go ahead of you into this week. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday will deliver their blessings. The rest of this month will deliver its favor. This, this new quarter will be a quarter of glory, a quarter of favor, a quarter of testimony, a quarter of power. Everything that I've meant to make you afraid, we go into the realm of the spirit. We tear them to pieces. Reka hontondo libiyasha. Victory belongs to you in the name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 44 verse 2, this is what the Lord says, He who made you, who formed you in the womb, and who will help you. Wow. I just saw a chain fall off somebody. I saw a massive, massive chain fall of somebody i saw a chain fall of somebody jesus sets you free you shall no longer be bound jesus sets you free i said jesus set you free this is what the lord says he who made you who formed you in the womb and who will help you do not be afraid jacob my servant jeshurun whom i have chosen i speak into your life today every chain that has fallen off you shall no longer hold you. Every limitation is broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, from this day you make progress, you go forward, you break forth to the left, you break forth to the right, you break forth on every side. Every area of your life, you break forth, you break through, 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 you break forth, you break through. This day I prophesy to your life. From this day, you break forth, you break through. 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 In the name of Jesus. Isaiah 44, verse 8. Isaiah 44, verse 8. Do not tremble. Oh, I love this. Do not be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God beside me? There is no rock. I know not one. This is so powerful. Don't tremble. Don't be afraid. Did I not proclaim this and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God beside me? No. There is no other rock. I know not one. I speak into your life today. You will not tremble before adversity. You will not quake before challenges. You will not tremble before financial battles. You will not tremble before physical matters. You will not tremble before emotional matters, spiritual matters. The Lord our God will be with you. He will strengthen your hand. He will prove himself mighty. He will be your God. He will be your strength. He will be your power. He will be your God. He will be your strength. He will be your power. He will be your God. He will be your strength. He will be your power. He will be your God. He will be your strength. He will be your power. Do not tremble. Do not be afraid. Hey, Anosha! Did I not proclaim this and foretell it long ago? You are my witnesses. Is there any God beside me? No, there is no other rock. I know not one. From this day, I prophesy to your life. You will not bow or tremble before man, before demons, 
issues will bow to your God. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Last scripture I want to read this morning. Before I begin to prophesy. And speak into your destiny. Is Isaiah 40. Verse 9. Oh I love this. Isaiah 40. Verse 9. Isaiah 40. Verse 9. You who bring good news to Zion, go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem, lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up. Do not be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, look at my God. Look at your God. You who bring good news to Zion, because you are going to bring good news to the church. You are going to testify. 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 You who bring good news to Zion. Go up on a high mountain. You who bring good news to Jerusalem. Lift up your voice with a shout. Lift it up. Don't be afraid. Say to the towns of Judah, come and see my God. Come and see our God. This morning upon this altar, I prophesy into your life. This your God will manifest in a powerful way all through this week. He will show up for you in a great way. He will show up with healing. He will show up with deliverance. I speak into your life this day that this week, you will truly be the manifestation of the grace of God. I prophesy unto your life this week that God meets all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. Isaiah 419. I speak into your life today that God delivers you from the power of darkness. Every power of darkness. Their power is broken. Colossians chapter 1 verse 13. I speak into your life. You are redeemed and forgiven of all sins. Colossians chapter 1 verse 14. I speak into your life today that you are complete in Christ. Needing nothing. Colossians chapter 2 verse 10. Complete in him. Don't let anybody run you out of town. Some people think you are not complete because you didn't wear the kind of hat they thought you should wear. They add to the Bible. We are complete in him. I declare to your life today. That your life is hidden with Christ in God. The devil can't mess with you. He has to mess with God. Colossians chapter 3 verse 3. I speak into your life today. God has given you the power. The spirit of power. Sound mind. Not of fear. 2 Timothy 1 7. Go into this week. As you call upon God who sits upon the throne of grace. Philip, Hebrews 4 16. Answers will follow you. Favors will follow you. Breakthroughs will follow you. Glory will follow you. De de deliverances will follow you. Ah, Hiramosha. Open doors will follow you. This day I take authority. James 4, 7. I resist the hand of the enemy this week. Every arrow that has been targeted at you. It is failing. It is failing. It is failing. For your sake. It is failing. For your sake. It is failing. It is failing. It is failing. For your sake. It is failing. For your sake. It is failing. This is the victory that overcomes the world. Even your faith. First John chapter 5 verse 4. You will overcome. Everything the enemy puts together against you this week. You overcome. And you are filled with testimony. The blood that speaks better things. Will speak for you this week. So shall it be. In Jesus name. Amen. 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 The evil one will not be able to touch you. The evil one will not be able to touch you. First John chapter 5 verse 18. The evil one will not be able to touch your family. He will not be able to touch your business. He will not be able to touch your mind. The power of fear is broken. The release of joy this morning. Joy unspeakable full of glory. Fills your life this day. Go out with joy. Be led forth with peace. Let the mountains and the hills break forth with singing before you. You shall go out with joy and be led forth with peace. Mountains, hills will break forth with singing before you as the Lord lives. 
in Jesus name. Amen. 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 It's going to be a great week, a powerful Jesus filled, God filled, devil defeating, Satan defeating, Satan shaming, Holy Ghost lifting, blood revealing, blood delivering, weak in Jesus name. In the mighty name of Jesus. Any announcements? We'll take them more in detail later. But remember to be with us on Morning Glow every day. The International Gathering of Champions, the adverts are out. The conference is closed. Make sure you register and get blessed. Don't say, I live very far. Last year we had people come all the way from Australia and various parts of the world. So join us this year at the International Gathering of Champions. The speakers are ready. We are ready. You will be blessed. The daytime meetings require registration. 25 pounds if you register between now and the 23rd of April. Between now and the 23rd of April. And you will get four of the messages free. Two books written by Pastor Matthew. Two e-books. New books that have not been released. You will get them free. You will get access to all the messages if you register now. And you will have access to all the 12 daytime sessions that will be taught by our auspicious speakers. So prepare yourself and get ready to receive from the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Get ready to be blessed. Get ready to be lifted. There's going to be a marriage uh, enrichment seminar. Or rather, two days in May. 13th and 14th, Saturday 13th, I'll be speaking, Pastor Yems, will be speaking, Pastor Deep will be speaking. Because marriage can be a deadlock, a bad lock, an arm lock. And it can also be a wed lock, a good lock, and a blessed lock. So join us for the right lock. On Sunday, we have one of the greatest authors on the subject of relationship and marriage, Gary Chapman, the author of the groundbreaking book, the five languages of love. We'll be speaking on Sunday in Hall Street, 9 a.m., Prayer City, 11 a.m. Whatever you do, get out of the way. Take this detail. Send it to your friends who've been complaining about their home, their marriage, raising children. Pastor Yems, you'll be speaking on raising champion children. This is going to be an awesome one. This month, matter of fact, next week, we have an auspicious conference in KRCC Lagos, Nigeria from the 28th of April to the 1st of May. Powerful when champions gather. Pastor Wally Oladin, an apostle of prayer. Reverend Steve Mensah, an apostle of outreach and hospitality and caring for the needy. Jerry Eze, a global apostle of prayer. I'll be speaking, Pastor Femi Fashiro is our host. It's going to be a great blessing, and it's going to be an awesome conference. We'll see you tomorrow morning. You will be blessed. You will be favored. Remember, this month, Katatatale, Radaradabosha, Yinderosa, is the month of victory celebration. Victory celebration. When the enemy comes like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will raise a standard against him. Don't bow. Don't be afraid. It will end in victorious celebration. In Jesus' name. Amen. The Lord bless you. Dios te bendiga. Dios te bensoy. Buana kubariki. Nyamishra. Mariba kukumbreri. Iwa mzita ra yesu. Mkulunkulu. Agubu says. Good morning. Saubona. God bless you.